I'm gonna show you a very simple but important pistol drill you can do. You can do it at home with a safe and empty weapon or you can do it at the shooting range. So I have 320 acres, awesome shooting range at Spy Ranch. I also have bug out locations. And right now we are at one of my bug out locations at a shooting range and I use that term very, very loosely. Basically at this particular bug out location, I had my buddy, I said, hey, I just want a dirt berm where I can do some shooting. Not that I'm gonna do a ton of shooting there because we got our Spy Ranch. And this is what he did. So he did it in an angle though, which is the weird part. We have flat land here, so we're on an angle, but hey, it is what it is. And then we have our target for the day. I, I don't know where this came from, honestly. What I mean by it is I can't remember who sent this to me, so I don't know who to credit with it, but it is. it seems like it's made out of a tire, like an old rubber tire or something. I've not shot it before, so this will be used uh, for the first time. And it did come with a span can of spray paint. I think I was supposed to spray paint it all white because it was white spray paint, but I left the can way somewhere else, so we're not going to do that. The gun I'm going to be shooting today for this drill is my SIG P320 Legion. This is probably one of the fanciest guns I own. I think this cost me 1100, 1200 bucks. Usually when I'm spending sub or sub uh, more than a thousand bucks, it's with a 1911. So I don't mind dropping a lot of money on a 1911, but this is this is more of a higher end gun for me for a non 1911 type of gun, but shoots great. I love it. Haven't had any issues with it. Fiber optic front sights. And I like the trigger, which is always important because it's not a Glock trigger. So let's talk about the drill we are gonna do. Obviously, you should practice wherever you carry your gun, whether it's inside the waistband, whether it's on the hip at the three o'clock position, and you should come out, you come out with the full draw, you do what you're supposed to be doing, right? Well, the drill I want you to do, instead of going through the whole motions, meaning you're getting your draw, you're coming out, you're punching out, you're acquiring the sights, all kind of that, is I want you to start here, right at this position, as you're punching out, and practice acquiring the sights very quickly. So again, we're not drawing out of the holster, we're not doing anything, we're starting with it in the compressed position here, and punching out and seeing how quickly you can pick up your sights and making sure you can pick them up the same place every time. Because a lot of new shooters, the problem they have obviously, is they come out, they draw, and they can't find the sight. And ah, where that, you know, where's that sight at? So you practice starting from here, compressed, punch out, and see how quickly you can acquire your shot sights. And of course, the beauty is in this position, if you really had to fire in real life, you can. I happen to be right-handed, left eye dominant. So you'll see me close my right eye, slightly tilt my head to acquire the sights. Not a big deal. I cannot shoot with both eyes, both eyes open because it's all mumbly jumbly and I can't see it. So again, this come out acquire sights. Now I do 25 dry fire trigger pulls every single morning, Monday through Friday. So when I'm doing that and I'm doing this drill here, I just come out, click. As soon as I see my sights and acquire them, click, click, click. Now I'm not pulling the trigger now because my firearm is loaded. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here a little bit at an angle because remember my buddy, for some reason, instead of building on the flat land, put our derm or dirt berm, excuse me. And I have my bug out bucket, shooting range bucket. Where can you get one? Well, I'm glad you asked. Go to spybucket.com, get one of these bad boys. It's got my AR magazines. I'll just show you the inside. Got a ton of stuff. Knife, multi-tool, tomahawk, pen. My glasses, my shooting range glasses are in here. I got gloves. I got some ammo. I got pliers. So let me get some of my eyes and ears on, and I'll show you what this drill looks like. Okay, we're going to shoot our... Uh, our tire rubber dummy it again. I'm not doing the full draw coming out and firing. What I'm doing is I'm starting here from the compressed position. I'm coming out, I'm acquiring my sights, boom, I'm firing. And then I'm coming back in, obviously taking my finger off the trigger, pushing out again, coming out, boom. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna start going faster when you feel comfortable with faster. But remember, we're not firing multiple rounds with this drill. Each time, we're starting here, we're coming out. As soon as we acquire our sights, we're boom. Obviously getting that second sight picture in case you have to follow up. But for this drill, no two shots in a row. Come out, boom. Come in, come out, boom come in and you get the picture. So if you're having trouble acquiring your sights, if you're a new shooter and stuff is everywhere, especially if you're using a red dot and you're having trouble finding the red dot and trying to chase it all over the place, try this drill. It will help you make you a better shooter. And I think that is about it for today. I'm gonna do a lot more shooting here and probably go grab the white can of spray paint for this guy. God bless you, enjoy the rest of your day.